Papa, which is more powerful, a flying bullet or a sliding bowling ball? Well, a moving body has both kinetic energy and momentum. So? We need to put in some numbers. Let's say the bullet is 10 grams, flying at 300 meter per second, and the bowling ball is 6 kilogram, sliding at 5 meter per second. Oh, you have given the bullet a higher speed, but the bowling ball a larger mass. For this set of numbers, the bowling ball has a larger momentum. Yay! But the bullet has more kinetic energy. Huh? So who wins? It's a tie. Surely one of them is more unstoppable than the other. Okay, let's use a constant force of 100 newtons to stop both of them. For the same constant force, it takes a longer time to stop the bowling ball. Yay, the bowling ball wins! On the other hand, for the same constant force, it takes a longer distance to stop the bullet. Huh? So who wins? It's a tie. Again? I know what. How about we let the two of them collide into each other? Okay. There's a range of outcome depending on how elastic the collision is. For a completely inelastic collision, the bullets will be lodged in the bowling ball and turns back at 4.5 meter per second. For a perfectly elastic collision, the bullets will be rebounded at speed of 309 meter per second. Oh, so the bullet always loses? Yes, because the force and impulses that the bullet and ball exert on each other are always equal but opposite, the magnitude of the momentum of the two bodies must drop at the same rate. So the one with the smaller initial momentum always comes to rest first and turns around first. The bowling ball wins! Hooray!